So ever since I started photography, one lens has always been the lens that's like my favorite, my go-to, or I guess the focal length, if you will. And um, a few years ago, um, I heavily invested into my, my lenses, right? So I got this 85 EF lens. Um, I use it through Sony, through Canon, and through my mirrorless R6 now. Um, but about four, no, five months ago, I placed an order for all new lenses. And the last one is here. The one I was most excited about, super amped about. Finally here, guys, we have the RF 1.2 85mm. And we're gonna do an unboxing of this baby right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. I'm gonna make this quick for you guys. I'm very excited for this. I got this call, it's a little bit after Thanksgiving. I got this call during Thanksgiving break when I was out of town. I wasn't able to pick this up, but action camera pulled through six months later, one price hike later, thanks to Canon who raised the rates um, while we we're waiting on this too. I think it was kind of a jerk move on them. They knew that they were behind on everything and they decided to raise the rates anyways, even though we pre-ordered it. Um, whatever, that's just my thing. So guys, the 85, um, I've done a video on the Sigma, why I love the 85, you guys can review that uh, through my channel. But the 85 is my portrait lens, it is my, my dude lens, it is my headshot lens, it is, I mean, I use it all the time, enough where I have just an 85 set focal length as a prime. This theoretically is my only prime that I use, minus the 100 macro, but I use that for macro stuff. Um, so this is like my, my go-to lens. In fact, it's one of the three lenses I carry in any portrait shoot. Um, I do the 28 to 70, 70 to 200, and then the 85. And this is on my camera, I don't know, more than half the time. Um, it's 28 to 70, and this baby I switch off depending on what I'm shooting. If I'm shooting the full family, then yeah, it's gonna be the, the 28 to 70, but if I'm just doing individual and portraits and getting those bokeh and that eye, that's what I want. It's also a 1.2. Um, which is like amazing. The bokeh is gonna be ridiculous. I mean, even look at the tree in the back of this thing, guys, like the, the bokeh, um, that's just what's 1.4. 1.2 is gonna be even better. And I do miss that 1.2 because we haven't had it in a while with the RF lenses. Oh God, I'm so excited. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here's the Sigma, and I know you know we're not Canon to Canon, but here's the Sigma, and this was, you know, I always felt pretty girthy. This thing is shorter and taller. If you guys remember the EF 1.85 um, back in the day was like a ball, right? It was like a giant ball, like the 50 was a ball and this was a bigger ball. They kind of brought that ball back um, with this one as well. Let's take off some caps here. Look how clean that is. Guys, 82 millimeter filter, Canon, uh, all right, 85 f 1.2 and it's an L lens, ultrasonic motor, USM. Um, has a couple different things here. It allows me to shoot full. Um, I always leave it on full, or you can pick your focal length if you need to, if you get stuck on that. Your autofocus and your manual focus as well. Um, also, with all RF L series lenses, this ring right here, you guys can hear it. This ring right here is a, uh, it's a focal ring. Um, and, or it's not a focal ring, it's a, it's, I don't know, is it an adapter ring? You guys can change this to whatever you want. You can make this your ISO, your shutter, your aperture. You can do a lot of stuff to that's within your, your screens. Only the RFL lenses allow you to do that. So um, on all of them, you can do it. I've been shooting with Canon. I have my setup for so long. Um, I've been shooting for so long. I actually don't use this. Um, I play with it, I fidget with it in between shoots but I don't have this because I know that if I do, I'll just focus on that because I still use my, my buttons for my shutter aperture and ISO, um, which is the only things I really care about while I'm shooting. So this is kind of a cool little thing. So, you know, if you're shooting and you need to adjust your aperture right away, your shutter, or just, I guess ISO would be the best thing, just kind of popping it up. That's that, right? So it does come with a sweet lens hood. Fits well. I don't use the lens hoods, but I do like that they clip in. There's a little clippy right here that clips in. So you're allowed to take it off and pop it off and it sits in there pretty nicely, storage wise. Um, since it's in the 85, you can actually leave this on the whole time unless you're shooting manual, but it won't get in your way because your, your focal length doesn't need to change based off of you. It locks both ways on that little screen right there. Does come with this cute little case, you know, that all Canon cameras do, but that's it. So guys, I'm super excited. I'm gonna show you guys some photos of these on a different video, but 
this is the last of the series, so I'm very excited to show you guys this. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Talk to you guys next time.